it seems to me like I'm I'm speaking to a 2.0 version of Katrina Kaif. Do you also feel some kind of like a, a robotic person? Uh, no, uh, no, 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 <laughs> or, an, or an evil or an evil person? <laughs> no, no, no. Like 2.0 as in a revamped version of Katrina Kaif. I, I'm not just saying because of the beautiful curly hair, the hair look, uh, the hairdo that you've uh, recently got. But you know, be it the the kind of films that you're choosing, the kind of roles you're doing, or your candor, your candor in the interviews. I think it's a new Katrina Kaif that the audience is getting to see. Do you also feel some kind of a change uh, inside? I think definitely there must be some something that as we go through life, I think we we learn to kind of drop some of our inhibitions mm -hmm. and drop some of our fears and mm -hmm. try to drop some of our um, idiosyncrasies yeah. along the way. The things that are just not very important. Mm -hmm. And um, I think you also realize that you know not everything matters so much. You yeah. know, like every small, small thing doesn't doesn't matter that much. And also I feel what happens is when the things that you dread the most hmm. and the things that you fear the most actually happen, hmm. then you think, Ab kya? Ab Ab kya? now what? Yeah. Now just be, yeah. see, you know, be as you are, be the best you can be because already the everything you dreaded, that, that has happened. That's happened. Yeah. So okay. then now, now just be and be at peace. Try to be at peace and live so well. Are you saying that you feel you're in a safe zone now? The, no. As in a comfort zone? So that's hard. Say? That's hard to say because you know every time you feel, every time I feel that, okay, I think I've kind of figured this out and oh, I'm in a good place now. Oh, wow, I'm doing quite well. Feel very settled and you know calm. All of a sudden, something happens, and you know, you 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 just off. You just go back to zero, <laughs> exactly like this. You go back to zero, and then you're like, but it was all just figured out the mm, other day. Mm, mm, and mm. then you say, "Chalo, ठीक है." मतलब that's the ups and downs. You know, yeah. you feel you feel that you've got it sorted, then then all of a sudden you feel everything's out of your control, and you you're off balance again. Mm. And you just, I think you just learn to accept that and accept this. Okay, so uh, in one of your interviews, you were told that uh, your your co-workers find you very hardworking, yeah. and you had said that this is like the easiest compliment to give, yes. and you didn't seem very. And it's pleased. not quite a compliment, huh? Yeah, I don't so find it. So tell us why do you detest compliments A and B? Please give your co-workers some some adjectives, uh, adjectives, adjectives that adjectives. you would love to hear. So I don't detest compliments. I just don't respond to them well. But I, I, I we all like hearing it. I mean, yeah. I love compliments. So you know, please no one be adverse in giving compliments <laughs> to me. Okay. And adject uh, adjectives so that, that one would like to hear is um, brilliant, uh, spontaneous, mm -hmm. talented, um, inspirational. Mm, you know, these yeah. are these are nice adjectives yeah. to go alongside mm. hardworking. Mm, yeah, I wouldn't mind. Please note that all your future and <laughs> past co <-workers>. Past <laughs> Okay. And um, Katrina, you're used to playing the female lead in all your films. Like even if it was say a so-called multi-star, uh, for instance, Jab Tak Hai Jaan, um, it, it, it was you who finally got a happy ending with the hero. Yes. So, uh, but things seem a little different with Zero. Hmm. Uh, your comment. <clears throat> I think you have to see the film in totality. Mm -hmm. um, I had thoughts initially, honestly, that mm, you know exactly what you're saying, mm -hmm. but you know, someone's screen time is more, and I don't really need to do this. And but you know, both Anand sir and Shahrukh was so insistent and persistent that um, this was something which they really felt was going to be important for me to do. And mm -hmm. Anand Rai is a director of yeah. the film, and a director I have a lot of respect of for. Course, yeah. And he just seemed so certain that this was a journey that he was not going to let me down on and one which was going to be very important for me. And um, I, I took that leap, you know, mm. I took that leap that it's okay. I mean, in a career which we have, which has, you know, been going on now for yeah. some time, yeah, yeah. I think it's okay to sometimes take a little, you know, step which is a little outside of what yeah. one normally might think yeah. and see what happens. Yeah. And I think I, I think the audience also loves surprises, you know, when you just... T it it, it see, comes unexpectedly. Yeah, yeah, it comes unexpected that, listen, people do sit back and take notice that, listen, mm. Kat Katrina Kaif is taking a character role here. Yeah. yeah, na? And yeah. 
I I hope it pays off because yeah. I am totally mesmerized by Babita Kumari. But you know, I, I'm hearing like great things about the trailer and everything. What are the what is that one thing that you know um, y- that made you like about playing Babita Kumari? What was that one thing? That All the complications <coughs> and contradictions that are there in the character. Um, she's uh, she's emotional. She's vulnerable. She's like every woman with her insecurities yeah. and the need to be loved and mm. the desire to be loved, um, but yet cannot find that love anywhere. Mm. And uh, at the same time, she's aggressive. She's uh, she's obnoxious. She acts up. She says things very bluntly and directly on people's faces. She doesn't avoid confrontation. She leans on alcohol as a crutch mm. to a large extent, mm. and she also indulges. You know, she's yeah. like, she's like. F- forget it, you know. Like, just let's destroy ourselves now. You know, I like mm. I like that abandon. But I also like that she never is asking for sympathy. She's never yeah. at any point in time saying, "Oh, poor me." You know, audience feel sorry for me. You know, yeah. I like that. So there were so many, you know, the di- different dimensions to to the character. But yet, I felt uh, at the core, she is someone that a lot of people can relate to that kind of pain. Hmm. Hmm. And did you also get to see a darker side of stardom? Because we all know you're a fitness freak in real life, but here this is a this is a character that you're playing who is enjoying alcoholism yeah. and <laughs> someone who is enjoying being yeah. an alcoholic. So did you did you get to experience a, the darker side of uh, stardom, so to say? I mean, I don't think that's the darker side of stardom. I think that's just the darker side of human of certain. Hum, you know, a certain human characteristics. So mm-hmm. it's a darker side of human nature. Hmm. Um, when you go into those zones, it can get a little deep and dark, yeah. and especially if you're using that in an unhappy time, yeah. that can just kind of pull you down further, and you just you you go down like a you know like you go start going down this rabbit hole, and there's no there's no end to it. Hmm. 